Howdy gang, Tiger is back and today I'm doing something new. I'm sitting out on the porch. It is a beautiful rainy day, gray. It's been like this for two days now. Now I don't think we've really had any rain worth mentioning in about three years here in this part of Arizona. So the last two days of just rain and gray clouds very much made me happy and I'm not the only one. Now the keys across the street of course don't like the pouring rain and their food gets swims away when I, I feed them but while it was dry when it was not raining and those breaks in between they were actually out playing like crazy. I've never seen them play this much before. They love it. Unfortunately I can't set up a camera to film them but that's why we're here. We're here because for some reason I'm still shopping. I don't know why. I need nothing. I have my whole library moved out and warehouse moved in and I still have boxes in the way and everywhere. Of course I'm also not very smart when I buy because I buy so many glasses and then I don't know how to ship them. <laughs> but then also people don't like to like to purchase them. I don't know why. I have a lot of lot of uh, vintage Libby glasses that I really have been trying to sell at the antique malls. But anyways, that's not the topic today. The topic today is what did I find at the uh, Humane Society and the Goodwill the other day. I have more mixed in. So and then I have a couple items that I've forgotten the last haul because I always forget something. If I don't, I'm not me. So, for instance, here's this little piece. I'm not sure if I showed it to you yet or not. I may have, but I just, I'm totally in love with it. The little hue. <laughs> Hue's not fat, Hue's fluffy. Beautiful. I like that little thing. If you don't want it, I'll hang it somewhere. <laughs> then I found, believe it or not, an angel. Now angels are normally not my thing. I'm not into that kind. I don't quite understand them. I don't quite know them. But this one I fell in love with for some reason. I love the idea of the angel being on top of the church or above the church and the way it's been painted. I think it may have been hand painted by an owner, by the last person or uh, it looks a little bit like it. It's a really cool, cute, really cool piece, and it's got nothing broken off, from what I can tell. I also cannot tell where it comes from. Um, it is, uh, uh, what is it called? Anyways, pottery type thing. It's not the thin porcelain, but she's just a beautiful girl. <laughs> and then, of course, there is the llama. The llama I picked up at the Humane Society. I kind of like that llama. And this llama will not spit at you. You're safe. <laughs> and the weird kitty. Now, it's signed Ben 2012. So it looked like Ben painted this kitty. Maybe it was one of those deals where you go to the pottery place and they have those the, the blank ones and you do what you want and then they fire them for you and you can pick them up a few days later because this p kitty is just <laughs> he's so funny now I know why Ben decided he needed to have a yellow black striped tail kind of skunky looking and he had to have you know yellow polka dots and green kitty and pink orange ears it's just <laughs> You know, it's so ugly. I just I just love it <laughs> just for that the the ugly factor and Yeah, I know not no animals are ever ugly They're just different looking and this one is very different the differentest looking kitty I have seen in a long time So I'm hoping we can find him a new home Ben's kitty If you're interested in Ben's key, let me know tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com a lot of dots in that and what I also found was a random bunny shelf 
sitting type thing. The legs are dangling. And actually, he's a bear bunny. He's a bear dressed up like a bunny. And he's a little bit on the dirty side. Oh, I haven't cleaned any of them yet. I will. But he's just cute. I'll probably save him for next Easter. And there is also... Hmm, what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. But it's this totally cool, I'll call it a candy dish. It has, it has the handle and it has beautiful roses and it is, has an anchor on the bottom. I have not done any research yet. I don't know what the anchor means. It's getting a little windy. I hope that the wind is not gonna mess with the, with the sound. So there is this and then there is, I love my ducks. I just love my ducks. Ducks and geese and here comes the sun. So yeah, uh, we're in the natural light. I did, I did get a ring light, but the ring light doesn't have a tall tripod. It just has one of those little tabletop things. And I have nowhere to set that up with this camera. So there is the duck. Duck and some geese, or are they all ducks? I'm not so sure. It's probably one of those soap dish things or something. It also looks kind of handmade, hand painted. And it's got a little mark. Oh, hi Bismarck. Speaking of marks. A little mark on the back here where I don't know what that is. That's in the in the material, but it's not stamped or anything and it does have some crazing. But it's just kind of cute. I like the ducks. I like them. What can I do? And then I found this tea German plate. This is such a beautiful piece and it's an excellent shape. The downside is that someone did glue on the, the uh, whatchamacallit, which means, well, you can probably still sit it down, but you can hang it up on the wall that way. And this is not coming off. And it's glued on a stamp, one of the marks below it, which I, of course, now cannot read, but we know it's from Bavaria. It's uh, my, one of my favorite companies. They make some really nice stuff. So this piece is definitely one of my favorite pieces of this lot that I picked up. And oh, I have so much all of a sudden. I don't even want to buy anything anymore. Whoopsie. The pink bottle. This is, I'm collecting bottles from my bottle tree. Um, this is nothing old. That's a newer piece. It was probably one of those that you, well, I don't know what was in there. But I think it's kind of cool. I mean, even though pink is not my thing, but I keep finding pink. And then there's the fish plate. Whoops. Now this one I did not pick up. This one I've had in my kitchen and I've used. But now that I've got that new dish set, I have no more room for my fish plate. I love this thing though, and I use it a lot. The problem with it is that the shape, it doesn't, it needs like a spot by itself. I have no room for it. So if anybody wants the fish plate, I might make you a great deal on it. It does have a little crazing, uh, but it's not marked. I don't know where it comes from. I just really liked it. And then I got some books. Some, you know, kitty books that, you know, really I like. Wooly kitty. He is really cool. Then there is Bruiser. Bruiser the Baylor Bear. I figured there is a Baylor fandom somewhere. This one, the little chicky, I really like that, but unfortunately there was some sticker on there. And uh, it really messed it up because the cover is just beautiful. And it's, I think this one is from the 1970s, 1978. It's a really pretty book. It's a really cute book and it's an excellent shape. Nobody's drawn in it. Nobody has left any earmarks. And then there is the doggies counting book. So it just counts. One, two, three, four, five, and there's the purple. <laughs> this, is a, this, this is a cute book too. These, I figure, you know, those of you who do junk journaling, since everybody likes to do that these days. Excuse me, Bismarck. <laughs> Bismarck is laying down by my feet because everybody else keep, ran off when I opened the patio door. Because I got these uh, feral kitties, especially Murder's brother. He 
he won't have it if I get too close. He ran to the front and while he was in the front he decided he may as well have some food so I had to give him, I gave him some food. And then there is, whoops, forgot to take off the price tag. Well, it doesn't really matter anyways, but there is the Tonala uh, um, coffee pot, which does not have the lid and it was used as a flower pot, as a planter. Um, I have not cleaned it yet. It is marked Mexico. It is just a beautiful piece. Um, it's gonna look a lot more beautiful once I get done with it because I'm definitely going to clean this up a little bit. And I also like this plate. This is England. America, America hurrah, hooray. J and G Meekin, England. I just really like the picture. It's such a beautiful, beautiful picture. It's really good quality and no chips, no dings. This plate was on the pile. I think I may have shown you that one before. This is the plate that I have fallen in love with re recently. That one is just, I mean, that that picture on there is in such, it's such good shape. This one I really, really, really can't, I, I, I almost cannot live without this one anymore. Of course, if anyone wants to, anyone else cannot live without it, I can be convinced of living without it. Uh, to live, to survive without it in my possession. But you know what I mean. And then I have this little bowl, which it looks a little bit mid-century modern. I know nothing about it. Again, I have not done any research. It's got no uh, marks or anything. And the, I don't know if the, the paint in the, these triangles is supposed to be a little uh, like that, but it's uh, almost like it's coming off again a little bit, or if somebody put in dishwasher. But it's a really nice bowl. I mean, it's really, it's it's totally cool. It can be used, you know, you can use it on your ta on your dinner table or for your, you know, for your soup even. You can use it for your side dish or just for a candy. I like to pick up things that are practical. Somehow I feel, I don't know if anybody else feels like it, but somehow I feel more of a, uh, I feel better when I pick up something that's practical because then I have a reason to pick it up and I'm gonna use it. I can use it other than just a knickknack or a sit about that you stick somewhere in your, in your cabinet and you know lock it in and never touch again. And then there's, oh, you me, there's this totally cool piece, which unfortunately is in very bad shape from the Chrome's department store. Now the good thing is that you can tell its age, <laughs> and the bad thing is you can tell its age. It is marked and it's very crazed. And I don't know where that is, Iron River, Michigan. I've never been to Iron River, Michigan. I've been to Dearborn uh, and probably a few places in between when I drove there from Chicago. But this is just, I don't know, this piece to me, it just has the soul of a nice vintage piece that needs to be saved. Even if it's not in perfect shape. I mean, all of us who are vintage are not in perfect shape, pretty much right so I can't blame the plate for not being in perfect shape I mean I'm wrinkled and uh, yeah and then I found these which I'm hoping that you guys can help me with because I have no clue these are candles and they are brand new they have the tags but they're also very weird shaped now my guess is that they were stored too warm, too hot. We are in Arizona after all. And they kind of like just got bent for that reason. They are Rachel Zoe. And from what I've seen, that's a clothing brand. I have not seen any, any candles. But they're totally cool. And it's a pair, a pair of two, and they're both uh, 
little bent on top. They have the same bend, which is what I was wondering if they were supposed to be that way. So over there, if I if I if if I light it light it up, it's not gonna gonna run down. It's gonna run this way. The the wax drippings. But it looks almost like a like an aluminum Christmas tree type deal, and it does have some bling or some glitter. So that's two of them. Whoopsie whoops. Missy miss and stay. And of course, then there was this piece I picked up for myself. Really, the uh, the little personal vases that you can put on your dinner table when you have your family over or a special occasion and everybody gets their own little flower. Those are made in China, those are mass produced, those are not worth a lot of money. Um, they are, they still have the tag and everything and of course they're made in China. But they are just beautiful and they're not bad quality. They're a little bit thicker glass, they're dark purple, they have different shapes. That bamboo one is really cool. but. They're just, I just couldn't help it. I may actually use them myself. Who knows? Who knows? And I also have another rather large plate, which is pottery plate. It's again, not, whoops, marked. There's no mark or nothing on here. It is more like pink than, it's more pink than purple. And it's rather large. So I would say what 10 inches across maybe but it is just a really nice piece I don't know what this ring in the middle means if there was another piece to it or not I don't know but again it's something that can be used I can even, even put my little crooked candles in there that would work and then there is the falling apart Christmas tree now this piece was definitely handmade and I think it is totally fun. Now the downside is that these pieces are glued on and they are gradually falling off and the glue stays behind. So any of you, uh, of you people who know these things, maybe you can give me some advice. Like here you can see there's the glue. And you know, that's something still on there. And it's, it's a shame that they glued it on so kind of, yeah, but who knows, maybe it was a kid. Maybe someone didn't know how to do it differently, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can take everything apart and redo it. I was thinking of maybe redoing it, unless someone would like to purchase this. It's not going to be too, too super expensive, however, it is handmade. And I was thinking those things should be sewn on and not glued. Just with a little, I mean, I don't know how to sew, but I do have my mom's sewing stuff. I think if all else fails, I could figure out just to put like a thread in and just do this thing and then, I don't know, tie it up or something. So yes, I have a couple of pieces extra and one just now fell off. <laughs> But this is a totally cool piece and it's got a little bell on top. One bell that makes noise. <laughs> One noise maker. And let me see. That was all we have right now. I'm sure there are, I find a handful of items back in the house when I when I put all this away that I was going to uh, show you all and forgot. That's the way I function. That's the way I operate. If I don't, then something is, oh, cute. There's a little salamander, a little gecko running up my wall. <laughs> yep, there's birdies, there's geckos, there's plenty of kitties. Oh, Bismarck took off again. He got confused when I started putting stuff back in that, in that box that I got sitting next to me. <laughs> he was worried that I would drop something on him. Oh, by the way, and that is Homer on my t-shirt. Homer the blind cat from Homer's Odyssey. Gwen Cooper's book. He would have had a birthday this week. He would have been 24, I believe. He was he was a hero cat, and he survived 9/11 in an apartment in New York. I think five days he was locked in there by himself. And uh, when they moved to Florida, he saved he saved uh, Gwen from from burglar. And we just had this little 
the story about this little kitten in Sweden that was blind and was adopted and when the adopted parents took it to the or the rescue agency before they turned it over to the adopted parents took it to the vet to for its final um, surgery it still needed an eye removed it had some something with the eyes someone at the vet's office reported it to the authorities and the authorities snatched the kit kitten up decided it was uh, inhumane to let this kitten live and then they were going to uh, euthanize it of course the rescue people they started they went to court and they so everything was put in hold and the poor kitten had to sit in a cage locked in uh, in jail literally and from what I heard from one of my Swedish YouTubers, he is now, uh, she, her, her name is Kelly. You can probably Google her, Kelly the Blind Kitten. She was supposedly actually rescued and uh, they got a, they won the case and she will, she is with her new family now, but I have no uh, proof that that's what happened. That's just what I heard from the Swedish gentleman who I <laughs> who I sent the the article over saying help help you you Swedish you you know the language you know more about these things in Sweden than I do I'm over here in Arizona <laughs> well anywho gang it's that time again you know what I'm gonna tell you all you all keep it real bye.